Welcome to the office of Hugrin Investigations. I'm Hugrin, your nomadic gamer and private investigator. Let's see if we can right some wrongs in judgment. Uh, here, can I see your phone for a quick second? My phone? Sure. You're way too dressed with that, but okay. Ah, what do we have here? Hey, no, you we'll already have file. the chatter app, Yagamishi. I do? Oh. I guess it came pre-installed. Well, you're in luck. In my hands, this stupid app becomes a powerful way to find people. Really? How? Hold on. I'm busting into their servers now. From my phone? And there we go. Here, take a look. Go ahead, what is... try searching for something. Maybe a name? That would be Aragaki. Now you do it. Oh my goodness. Okay, and let's limit the time period while we're at it. Say, today. See? That map will tell you the GPS position of all the relevant chatter posts. I'm not gonna lie. I had to give myself admin privileges to get that one, though. <laughs> wow. Hmm. A lot of stuff. 128 hits. We're gonna need to narrow down the search. Yeah. Not sure what else we can put in, though. Didn't you say the name of the club, Yagamishi? Some crazy French word? They're oh, all yeah. crazy. It's Club Amour. <laughs> Great. Let's try Aragaki and Club Amour. Well, looky there. Narrowed it down to one. So Aragaki wrote this, huh? Nope. Just someone who saw him. That's still a massive hint, though. See, it got posted only ten minutes ago. Meaning the poster might still be nearby. So, if I were you, I'd get down there and see if you can find out where your man went. I marked the spot on your map, Yagamishi. Hope it comes in handy. Good luck out there. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, and try to get out more, okay? <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? <laughs> oh, man. Interesting character. Ow. Pretty sure I just ran into that door, but okay. Okay, so... On Tenkaichi... Tenkaichi Street. If I can hit this right... Take another right... And then left... Alright, I'm just gonna... Do this... Up. Pardon me. Don't mind me, folks. I'm just going through. Ow. I do not turn on a dime. Okay. Oh, hey. Someone to chat with over there. Out of my way. You got a second? Sure, I can spare a few of those. What's up? <laughs> I'm looking for the owner of a club called Amour. Any idea where he is? Actually, yeah. Just saw him. Wasn't in a great mood from the look of it. Oh, no. He really lost big time on the pachinko slots. The crap is pachinko. Any idea where he was heading? Toward Taihei Boulevard. Probably getting sushi, if I had to guess. Sushi? Really? Isn't that a little pricey for a guy who just lost a bunch of money? <laughs> you don't get it. You get sushi after a big loss to cheer yourself up. What's ten more grand if you've already lost fifty or a hundred? Huh. That's what makes you stingy. Feels like it'd be a waste to blow your earnings on something dumb. Huh. I never thought about it. Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll head over to that sushi joint. Okay, then. Man, I should have seen him then if I had just... If he was just here. Ah, jeez. Okay. Excuse me, pardon me, come through. Sorry. Apologize, I gotta get through here. Sorry. See you next time. Hey, that's the guy. Hmm? Aragaki-san, the owner of Amour. <laughs> and you are? An Yagami interesting from party. The Yagami Detective Interested. Agency. 
I want to talk about what happened on the night of December 3rd. Oh, yeah? Sorry, not ringing any bells. Come on. You and I both know that's not true. <laughs> well, it is. I don't know a damn thing. Why don't I jog your memory, then? I've got something to show you. I'm gonna show him that one. Yeah, because he's in it. Ha-cha! Take a look. <sighs> On the night of the crime, you left Amur with these Matsugane goons. Yeah. Leaving Hamura and Kume, the victim, alone in there. You're knee-deep in this. Knee-deep. <sighs> Ankle-deep. I can't argue with that logic. Shin-deep. Don't worry. I won't ask for anything too out there. Just a bit of your time. I'm working on Hamura's defense. I don't know where else to go with that. I'm hoping you're the silver bullet. Oh yeah? Whatever. I'll talk. All right, cool. Dude, you just stand there on yourself on this entire down. time. Appreciate the help. Now, what went down around 9 p.m. on the night of December 3rd? Well, uh, Captain Hamura brought that Kansai punk Kume in here. It was out of the blue. Caught me off guard. Were there any other customers here at the time? Just a few. They bailed when Hamura came busting in here. Who wouldn't? Yeah, I that ended up mug. sending the girls home, too. Once everybody was gone, the Matsugane guys just laid into Kume for almost an hour. Wouldn't that kill a guy? You uh, didn't hear that from me. You're good. Don't worry. Then, right around 10, something kind of weird happened. Hamura kicked everyone out of the club. Even me. And the only ones left inside were Hamura and Kume. <sighs> yep. You know why Hamura kicked everyone out? He... He said Kume reminded him of an old friend. Claimed they needed to have a chat. Alone. <gasps> Secret lovers. At least that's how he worded it. And that didn't seem weird to anyone? Oh, the Matsugane boys had plenty to say about it. But if the boss tells you to leave, you get the heck out. No clue what went down in the club after that. I think we all have an idea. Uh, let's see. Well, this guy can answer. Tell me tell about me. the camera out back. The broken one. Oh, that? How long's it been like that? For about a month. Some drunk asshole chucked a rock. Just cracked it right open. Nah. It was just for show, though. Never actually worked in the first place. Huh. Not much use to me, then. Alright. So, what did the club look like? Did you just sit and watch while the Matsugane tore into Kume? What do you mean? What else could I have done? Joined in. Called the cops on them, for one. Not like they're especially good for business. Nor is a dead body in your club. Come on. They'd have killed me if I did that. And frankly, it didn't look like they were hurting him too bad. If anything, they were going easy on him. Meaning you've seen a bunch of these beatings like before Like just then. smacking him around a bit. You know, nothing too serious. Once in a while they'd hit him a little harder. To make him bleed, I guess. Huh. The cops came by after the incident, right? A detective, yeah. Guy named Kuroiwa. Apparently with organized crime. Kuroiwa. What did you tell him? Not a whole lot. Same stuff I told you. <sighs> Forensics was tearing this place apart. Trying to find bloodstains from Kume. You know, with that luminol stuff. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd wiped all that up before they got here, but that sure was a waste. <sighs> Turns out blood's tougher to clean up than I thought. Now they're convinced the murder happened here. Was there that much blood? Before you wiped it up, I mean. No, not really. I told you, they barely even made Kume bleed. Sounds huh. like he didn't die here, then. Well, I certainly wouldn't know. <laughs> That's true. All right, well, we got all well, we can thanks. get. Well, thanks. This is a huge help. We done here? Yeah, we're done here. But I'll be back. I'm gonna, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about the table. I'm, I'm gonna go this way. Bye.
Hello. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Kaito, what's up? Hey, man, where are you? Just left a club called Amour, over on Supon Street. Amour? Isn't that one of the Matsugane joints? Yeah. Hamura and the victim were apparently alone in here the night of the murder. Anyway, need something? Yep, swing by the office when you're done there. What's up? Uh, it's no rush. You'll see when you get here. Later. Uh, later then. You're not looking to point on my computer again, are you? Who's that? What the? Why is she here? How about you ask her yourself, Romeo? Romeo? Good to see you, Yagami-kun. Hello there. Mafuyu Fuji. Where's it Fuji? Don't worry, it's not what you think. And before you ask, she's not here to win your heart again. Win your heart. My heart again. Hold on a minute. Let's make one thing clear. We never dated. Oh. Guess okay. I spoke. Don't sue. <laughs> I think that's a I guess she's another lawyer. <clears throat> I'm here on business. That should be obvious. Business? What kind of business? The prosecutor's office is pressing murder charges against Kyohei Hamra of the Matsugane family. Uh -huh. You're involved, aren't you, Yagami-kun? Word travels fast. Nothing that happens in Genda's office gets away from me. Sorry, so <laughs> just can't keep a secret, huh? Not with me. We go way back. She's a treasure. Since you were kids, right? Yep. Back to Hamura, though. They're already pressing charges. They only just arrested him. Apparently the prosecutor's had his eye on Hamura for a while now. He's just been lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. And this prosecutor hmm. is? Your friend, Izumira. Izumira. I would be him. You haven't seen that guy since the whole not guilty verdict, huh, Talk? Hey, Talk, yep. you're a pinster. Just keeps coming to bite He's you in the butt, doesn't it? He's probably still sore about it. Too bad Shintani's gonna be the one in charge of the case and not me. You're really never becoming a lawyer again, are you? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Genda Sensei asked me the same question. <laughs> the touchy I subject. See. Does the prosecution have any work for me? I'd be glad to cut you a discount. You know what, Yagami kun? Hmm? You do have work? This detective business really doesn't suit you. Why you gotta be so mean? Couldn't she have just called? Probably. Think she went through the trouble for a reason? Maybe you? <laughs> it's uh, getting dark out. I should walk her back. The door just did something weird, then. Huh. <laughs> I'm with Kaito on that one. She didn't come here for business. Where'd she go? I mean, she went outside, dude. Chase after Mafuyu. Umbrella attack? Oh, no umbrella attack. Okay. Not so fast. Who are you? Who are you? Chief Prosecutor? And Yagami Kun? What are you doing? You didn't hear me just say your name? to walk you home. Really? That's so sweet. Ah, thanks, lady. Well then. I apologize for my forcefulness. Kunihiko Morita. Sure. <laughs> this is Chief Prosecutor Morita. Morita. And, um, you already know Prosecutor Izumita. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Long time no see, Yagami Sensei. High five for friendship? Courtroom just hasn't been the same without you around. Damn near breaks my heart. Okay, guess no high five. All right. Kaigo Izumita. I guess that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Wow, there's really like no love lost between him and any kind so of. So you're defending Jeez. Hamura, huh? Nope, Shintani's handling it. I'm just collecting evidence. 
You see a lawyer's Looks badge. Looks like you don't need that walk home, Ma, for you. Later. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. You're not a lawyer anymore. Dude, really? Even after your landmark acquittal. Too bad. Really? I only won because I was up against you. Oh. Shit, damn mouth. Yeah. If it wasn't for your bullshit logic, that murderer would have been behind bars. An innocent girl died because of you. Tell me what was so bullshit about my defense then. Come on, say it. Everything! Really? That's enough, Izumita. It's okay, Izumita-san. Uh, thanks for thinking of me, Yagami-kun. Farewell. Yeah, I see it. I want to thank you folks for coming by to watch my video. Go ahead and like, leave a comment, or even subscribe if you want to. Don't worry about hitting that notification bell. I'm making content every Tuesday and Thursday. So until next time, peace.